What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to explain to you guys how to complete the achievement Calm Down Birdie. This is the achievement where you tame a Koopa Papa pet. I think it's Koo Papa, right? Koo Papa. And um, for this achievement you're going to need the uh, pet collar right and if you if you want to know the pet collar does require the um, the goblin workbench and to get the goblin workbench you have to defeat the goblin king so once you have the goblin workbench you can actually craft the pet collar directly I mean you might be able to find the pet collar for sale in Matthew's shop or as a drop from various different goblins or inside you know goblin chests but the easiest way is really to just craft it and all it requires is leather, wool, and bones. So I, I recommend crafting like a bunch of these. And uh, that's it really. Just uh, just have, um, have a few pet collars in hand. And then the other ingredient or item that you, you kind of need will be the, the, cu the cuckoo jelly. Right? These cuckoo jellies drop or has, has a chance to drop from various different... Um, cuckoo pets, or, or sorry, cuckoo critters, or mobs that you can actually attack and fight. There is a different cuckoo pet where, uh, or mob that's available in the world where they don't uh, attack or aggro. Those are the, um, those are the, like, the, the virtual banks, or the, I guess, the fifth dimension banks that you kind of, like, put in temporary storage, and then you can actually access that from anywhere else. So those particular mobs are not the cuckoo uh, pets that you're supposed to, to tame because you can't really tame them they actually go invisible the one that you do tame is the one to tame is actually from from uh, the cuckoo jelly right because if you look at this it says after using this you will attract an angry uh, coup papa right so once you have like a bunch of these and this also is available as items that you can buy uh, from Matthew's uh, ship. So if you see one of these things, uh, it would would be a good idea to probably pick them up. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. One of the things I want to recommend is that um, if you already have existing followers um, for pets or whatever, dismiss them, uh, uh, park them somewhere far away from from the area that you're gonna try to uh, tame the, the cuckoo jelly so that or the cuckoo Papa, so that they don't interfere with the battle. So I recommend like uh, doing this during the day, uh, you know, around the morning time, not at night, because then that way you don't uh, have to deal with any of the mobs that spawn at night. So you want like a pretty good, pretty good, uh, I guess, um, working space to do this. And then the other important thing is when you're taming this pet, make sure you don't have any damage reflection. Right, it's very good to have like a lot of evasions and damage reductions, and defense, and damage resistance or whatever. Um, you know, say like maybe an amber shield, or the uh, sense amplifier earring. These these things will help you. You know, the skate bear will help you avoid taking damage from the the Koopapa pet. It, it, it's not too bad once you understand how this uh, fight will work. All right, so let's go ahead and summon one, and I'll I'll explain more. All right, so once you eat that, this guy appears, right, and uh, he's phased out, so it's really difficult for. I think it's um, right. You can't really just deal with him or try to tame him like this because what's going to happen is he he's going to start shooting you, right? So if you if you try to tame him like this, right? You're gonna get hit by these things, right? Um, right now, this is pretty good because I've managed to evade the, the shots. So you can actually try to tame them like this if you evade the shots, right? Like that. But the if you have if you're having trouble taming him, right? Let me show you how to do that. Uh, another trick where you can actually tame him. And this is not a really good roll either. So let me go ahead and just take him off over here. And if you're having trouble 
taming him. I'll show you another trick here. The reason I was able to tame him so easily was because I stacked a bunch of evasions and I had the amber shield, so I wasn't getting disrupted by his uh, his attacks. But another way to do it, I'll show you here. Right. If you're ha so if you're having trouble taming it, like um, like where he he starts shooting you like this, right? Just wait until one of these balls appear and find one that's really close to him, right? And then you can actually um, punch these things, right? And then it'll, it'll, it'll actually stun him, which will allow you to tame him like this, right? So just wait until the ball comes out, right? And then... Uh, just knock, knock the ball basically like this. Oops. Just push the ball over towards him like that, and then tame him, because he'll be stunned. He he won't get attacked basically, so you can't get interrupted. All right. Try it again. Like that, and see how like, you know, he's not attacking you. And there we go. Can't. That's not showing up. Okay, that that worked actually. I I managed to get him right before his balls actually attacked me. Let's ch ch take a look at his stats here. Ooh, this is actually a really good one, right? A seven four four thirty eight, and this is orange stats. So it's really nice to to get this here. So I'm trying to get like a another roll, like maybe like a purple. So if you don't like that one. Right, you can actually just um, just miss it here. Or, or let's see here for this guy, I can actually take this, get him to follow you. Right, so if let's say like you do want to kill him, um, and you don't like this pet because you know you've you've tamed it, but it's not really a good stats. Right, see how the stats is not really good compared to the other one. So you can actually release it. And then he'll show up again, and then you actually fight him. Let's see if I can actually kill him. Yeah, see, you can't kill him because he's phased out. Right? But if you actually do this, you can actually attack him. There you go. So that's how you can actually kill it if you, if you, um, if you don't want to tame him. Right? And then he drops one of these. Summon a friendly Coco, right? So then you you can use that, and that summons a virtual bank, right? Say so all Coco banks contain the same items, no matter which one you access, right? So you can dump stuff in here, and then uh, it's got a cooldown timer. After one minute, you can go somewhere else, or I mean, you can resummon the bank whenever you want. It's just a virtual virtual bank, virtual storage space that you can actually store in addition to your own inventory space. So hopefully, you know, this video helps. Um, and for those that um, don't know, like this guy makes a really good mount, right? Because if you look at the statistics here, um, he 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 has the ability to uh, to give you light a light radius, right? And then this one also he he decreases your defense by eight percent. All right, hopefully that helps. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.